Hello again, everyone, and welcome back. Today, I'd like to um, follow up from our video on emotional needs with the actual innate or internal resources that we all have naturally um, to help us um, get them met. Uh, this comes, as I said yesterday, this comes from the Overcome Anxiety online program. And this is the first part of day nine, where we basically just run through what those resources are. And then on the lessons following, if you are on the program, um, we would go in detail into how those resources work. And importantly, for anybody that those resources either are absent or um, are damaged, um, we work on in our one-on-one -on -one sessions, uh, how to rediscover them and how to use them to get our needs met. So as I said, um, we all have these naturally and I'm just gonna break them down now. Our inbuilt human resources. So in order to get our needs met, we have an inbuilt set of human resources with which we can understand and interact with our environment. The human givens approach identifies our key resources as one, our emotions and instincts. These help us to understand what's happening around us and to respond accordingly. It's our emotions that drive us to act. Therefore the word emotion, so quite literally to move. For instance, the emotion of fear will prompt us to retreat from the cause. Our emotions all have a vital purpose in our drive to survive. Empathy. Empathy is the, the ability to build rapport, empathize and connect with others so that we can care for each other and share as a group. Our memory. This is the ability to develop complex long-term memory, which enables us to add to our innate knowledge, remember experiences and to learn. Our imagination, with which to focus away from emotions and problem solve creatively by trying out ideas in our mind. Unfortunately, when we're anxious and ruminating, we have a, a habit of utilizing this brilliant resource, but in a negative fashion. So we imagine worst case scenarios and crazy what if scenarios in our mind. Um, again, in our one-on-one -on -one sessions and throughout this course uh, with hypnosis, we learn to basically retrain this resource so that we're using positive guided visual imagery. And that way we try out ideas in our mind, but for our potential future self. Pattern matching. This is our brain's way of quickly being able to act on the spot, which sometimes doesn't go too well. Um, hence the, the fight or flight response. So we basically have to pattern match when we sense something is happening, when we have to work out very quickly if it's a danger or if it's something good to us. Working properly, it's the ability to know to perceive and understand the world unconsciously through a subtle metaphorical pattern matching process, which is the fundamental way in which our brains work. So literally, that little vice, that gatekeeper, the amygdala, has to work out very quickly and it pattern matches back to what's in memory to work out if we're in danger and if it needs to react. Reason. Reason, a conscious, rational mind that can check out emotions, analyze, plan, fine tune and question. There's a link between these two where the pattern matching of the amygdala, if it senses danger, even wrongly, it shuts off the reason or the rational part of our mind. And we'll get into that in detail on, on the course. Enhanced awareness. This is the potential to develop an observing self, that part of us which can step back, be more objective, 
and recognize itself as a unique center of awareness, separate from intellect, emotion, and conditioning. Similar to reason, but it's we become more mindful and rather than jumping at every uh, thought and feeling, we step back and we learn to become aware of what's actually happening and work out rationally where to go. Dreaming. Believe it or not, dreaming is absolutely critical to our mental well-being. It's our brain's way of both preserving our instincts and diffusing uncompleted, unresolved, or unfulfilled emotional arousals, basically the issues of the day. So when we dream at night, we, we're able to flush out those issues by coming to a logical conclusion, uh, often using metaphors. So there you go. These are the inbuilt resources. Um, and they have been literally designed, developed and honed to match and meet our needs. Between yesterday's emotional needs and these resources, um, we go a long way towards understanding everything else that's happening with anxiety and addiction. And were you to join us on this course, um, as you can see, we worked through over 21 days, starting from where you are at um, with anxiety or possibly even addiction for some people because of how we feel. We worked through, we learned to let go, understand, we removed the emotion, um, we disassociate them from the trauma. We work on the coping mechanisms, the unhealthy habits, and then from week two, we start to understand and learn what we can do to take back control. We work on our emotional needs by working on our resources, if need be. Um, within there are several uh, self-hypnosis audios. Um, and then all the other things that are needed for us to um, be less anxious. The importance of exercise, sleep, nutrition, and then in week three, we dare to believe in a brighter future and we work on our new um, positive um, self and all that we can be. So hope you got something out of today. Uh, thank you and we'll speak to you on the next video. Bye for now.